that's how they that's how they keep in touch through group, quarantine yep. through group messaging yep and i mean their, their daughter does uh she basically has playtime with her friends via facetime gotcha which is weird they she has a tablet and she's got a phone she's facetiming and they're playing the same game together kind of ridiculous isn't it it's what they do hey man all right so what's up it's thursday b smith look who i found Look who I found for a Thursday night beer review. Hey. Check this out. Mr. Classic in tonight. Uh, three Crafty Bastards, of course. Check us out on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. Facebook page. Go and like it. Share it with your friends. Share it with your mama. Share it with your mama's friends. All kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and get into this uh, beer review real quick. We're going to make this quick for you. Me, by myself, I, I make a beer review that's about 10 minutes. But you've done very well, though. Dude, I, I feel like I'm, like, snapping through it. Like, my stats are, like, rolling, I which is how I get them, them through I, it. I like so watching them. I appreciate that, man. It's a it's a team effort, for, for sure. And I feel like every time I do a beer review without you, I'm like, he would hate this. Mr. Classic would hate this. I better mention this. <laughs> so that or, means you've been saving me from yeah, some of these. I, I essentially have. I, I don't yeah. know if you saw the last one I did, but uh, it's... Going up on YouTube tonight, and it's Resilience uh, by uh, Sierra Nevada. Yeah. And it, it was a whole thing. It was a themed beer, if you know anything about us, me, us, we. We like to do themed beer reviews, so that beer review was themed. You can check that out on YouTube. But tonight, we got something totally different, and I've been saving this. I've been saving this since, uh, what month are we in? Yeah, all the days run together now. This is April. This is April, so I've been saving this since uh, January. Wow. for him to try and we've always had a different beer to try and review so on and so forth and this has been sitting in my fridge so it's nice and cold a uh, quick backstory we went to a pacers game down in indianapolis uh pacers ended up losing but it was a great time anyway the uh on the way back we stopped at four day ray brewing in carmel fishers or yeah fishers my bad <clears throat> it's in fishers which is just on the north side of indy mm -hmm. my bad well they're, they're like next door neighbors up there north of indy Right, and I grabbed this uh, this beer called Monk Tears, and it's a Belgian quadruple. Uh, it says that it's earthy, spiced caramel, 2020, so it's got the date on it, 10.5% alcohol, so it'll be interesting to see, like, we do something after this, man, it's going to be like... <laughs> you had me right. a caramel. Right, right. <laughs> okay, and... Uh, but it was quad... That's a quadruple what? That was my question, like, because you know how I am with the uh, with the IBUs. If right. It's quadruple is that gonna hike up the IBU? No, nah, and it, and it's not. Check this out. Uh, a little bit of stat <clears throat> behind Monk Tears from Four Day Ray uh, is it's ten and a half percent on the can, ten on the website, uh, thirty eight IBUs. So that means the IBUs are very very low right in this guy's wheelhouse. Yes, He's yes, not gonna make stink face on this beer unless it's really bad. So true. The, the truth remains to be seen. Uh, but I got this and uh, it says that it was inspired by the Trappist Brewers of Belgium. Uh, Monk Tears is a Belgian style quadruple that has an earthy aroma of spice, dark fruit and caramel. Flavor starts off mm. with caramel sweetness, followed by fruity date characteristics <clears throat> in the middle and finishes with fresh plum as you exhale. Uh, starts wow. out thick. Uh, finishes slightly dry is what four day ray green says about their beer monk tears so without further ado i'm gonna let mr classic chat with you for a second because he's hardly ever in on these thursday night beer reviews and i'm gonna go ahead and give us that pour you know so, you know when you talk about the description it reminds me of almost like a cherry cordial okay because it has the chocolatey outside and then you got the sweet inside which is usually a fruit right so yours talked about plum you talked about dark earthy fruits on the inside, on the back side of the drink. And uh, I didn't see whether that was, it's a Belgian, so it's not like it's a, it, we're, I don't know if we're done with stouts and porters, but. Not it's, necessarily. <laughs> it's definitely. Like, you know, in my experience, I feel like a Belgian style beer always holds flavor better mm -hmm. than anything else. And, and it's due to like the density mm -hmm. of the beer. Yep. Like any kind of Belgian style beer that I've always had has been, uh, uh, Borderline thick, always kind of frothy yep. at the beginning. Got a real nice head on it. Yep. So, I mean, as you can see, I mean, you got you got a little bit of effervescence there, and you that's got, a lot. We got a, a nice head on it. So, uh, 
why don't we go ahead and give this beer a try real quick, man? Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for joining us on Thursday Night Beer Review, Mr. Classic. <laughs> Did the knuckleheads? Yeah. That is interesting. Oh. Huh. That is very interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> My just if I may go ahead and, and, and spew forth. Please do. Um I thought it'd be different. It's not nasty. It's right. um all of those flavors are I don't really catch a lot of them. I don't catch the description of it. But I'm not <clears throat> it's not like I can like take it down because of that because it's still it's it's a decent beer but it's almost it's almost just I hate to put it this way it's almost basic so <laughs> after you say that let me go ahead and read this it was awarded the sil uh, silver medal at best of craft beer awards 2019 awarded a silver a silver medal at best of craft beer awards 2020 mm -hmm. so that i don't know do they have that how did they do it in 2020 well because i got it in like january february so maybe they already it was obviously available okay Maybe they developed it for the craft beer awards. I don't know, but uh, it's definitely malty. Yeah, one hundred percent. Almost creamy because of the maltiness. But after that, it, to me, it's just it's basic. I don't taste a lot of the like when I said caramel, and I thought it'd be sweeter. It's it's again, it's not nasty. It's it tastes like a basic. It's 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 actually like a step below a regular Belgian. You in think my so? Book, in my book, maybe it's the Belgians because of, that I've had. Maybe it's because of the flavor that uh, that's what that's how it makes you feel. You know, I I one hundred percent understand their description as far as uh, a mouthfeel that starts out thick but then ends with a slight dryness. Mm -hmm. I get that. Uh, the fresh plum. Where? Yeah, Where? I don't really get that. I would imagine plums being a whole lot sweeter. Uh, I'm even than, trying to smell it in here. I can't even smell it in there. <laughs> then this beer actually finishes. I would say maybe the date characteristic was a little more prominent than the plum. Yeah. Because if I was going to imagine that it finished with plum, I would imagine that it finished a whole lot sweeter than it actually did. Mm -hmm. uh, but the caramel, <clears throat> the caramel is on, on point. I feel like when we say caramel, we're looking for like that sweet, candy square one by one cubic caramel flavor what other caramel is there uh, it's like it's like chocolate <laughs> it's like chocolate though i mean you have to consider like a lot of beers have caramel flavoring but you never ever know it unless you read the description it's like baker's chocolate here's the thing maybe next time we don't read the description we taste it first and then find out if it meets the description that that could be i feel like with the description though being a read ahead of time you kind of know what you're looking for right but if i don't know what i'm looking for maybe i can make up my own thoughts and ah, see if they match i gotcha i gotcha i see i so got gotcha. ma maybe i think we should try that next time yeah certainly man <clears throat> because it, it is a good beer i can see it said a silver silver medal silver something yeah yeah 2019 and 2020 it, it, it is it is a good beer but it's i don't feel like it meets the description of what it says to me again it tastes like a lighter it even says quadruple quadruple belgian i don't know what that even means i'm not gonna lie to you. i don't know what that means but it doesn't feel like quadruple anything it feels like a single like a single malt okay so again it's not nasty it is actually a really good beer but it doesn't maybe i don't know what the quadruple means um and you said the ibus were down which is good for me and it, i can taste that it's, it's good but maybe if they it's like um the movie Total Recall. Mm -hmm. The second one they made with Colin Farrell. Mm -hmm. If they called it anything but Total Recall, it's a good movie. Right. Gotcha. It's a good movie, but it's not Total Recall. It's just not the same. And that's how I feel about this beer. So why don't you go ahead and rate it? Um, it's pretty good. It's got it's got decent flavor. It's a little deceptive, but it's got good flavor. And the first number that pops in my head was 4.3. 4.3? Yeah. Uh, it's it's definitely good. I could definitely see myself buying this at the bar and getting a pint. I would pay for this beer. Okay. I'm 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 doing a little bit of research real quick. Uh I mean I could talk more about Total Recall. No, I'm just kidding. 
so okay basically what it looks like is that uh quadruple which i had to look it up because truth be told i didn't know either uh a quadruple beer is a type of beer with an alcohol by volume <clears throat> of 9.1 percent to 14.2 uh but it's typically a belgian style beer so Anytime that you see a quadruple, you're going to see it attached to Belgian. Well. And I wonder if that's the same thing as like an imperial stout with, with a stout. Yeah, certainly. So that's the or imperial IPA. Version, the Belgian's version of do, version of doing a imperial type stout. Of doing it big. Yeah, yeah, one hundred. Because it's the same ABV damn near. Okay, so you give it a four point three. I'm going to give this beer on a scale of uh, zero to five. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this beer a four. I think the, the flavor on this beer <clears> holds up pretty well. Uh, again, I don't get the, the plum reference that they made, but that's okay. I mean, I, the finish was good. You expect Very it to be good. dense because it's a, a quadruple yep. and uh, you expect it to be thick at the beginning. And it does have like kind of a light finish. It's a very drinkable yep. beer. Would I buy like a six pack and drink them all? No, no. I wouldn't. This is this is a beer that I would say that you would pair with like a, a certain dinner, yep. maybe with a steak. It's it's definitely a specialty type beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would want to definitely pair this with with some sort of meal, and I think you would get more flavor and more appreciation out yep. of it. Uh, with that being said, like we always do about this time, we got to hit that gladiator fashion on them. Three, two, one. It's good. It's good, man. Like four point oh. It's not a two, man. It's not a five, but it's good, man. And uh, thank you to Four Day Ray for taking my money and allowing me to bring this beer, sit on it for about three months, and then present it to Mr. Classic so that we could try this together and do this beer review. Uh, if you are not friends with Three Crafty Bastards on Facebook, you need to go look up Three Crafty Bastards on Facebook uh, and hit that like button. Share with your mama, share it with your mama's friends, share with your mama's mama's friends, and share with anybody else in quarantine that you might talk to about <laughs> once a week, right? If you didn't right. know, we're going through a thing. So social distancing, and we got that, we got that good Batman hand sanitizer right there just to keep things legit as we hit this beer review. So uh, with that being said, three crafted bastards, and of course, I'm B. Smith. Mr. Classic. And we're out of here.